1972, uh, they bought C's candy. And uh, how many of you are, are customers of C's? Have you ever had C's candy? How many of you have never had C's candy? We have a few unfortunate humans. <laughs> Maybe you can, uh, next time you're going through some airport, you know, get some peanut butter brittle. That might be a good start. Um, but anyway, so they bought C's in 72. And uh, in 72, they bought C's for 25 million. And uh, the deal almost didn't happen because uh, the family that was selling wanted 30 million for the company. And Warren was already choking at 25 million. He thought the 25 million dollar price was really rich. And the reason why Warren thought 25 million was rich was C's was a company that at the time was generating about 2 million a year in cash flow. They had 8 million in, in net book value and the purchase price was 25 million. So they were playing more than three times book value for the business. And when the family said they wanted 30 million, um, Warren, uh, Warren just said that, hey, at 25 million and one cent, I'm out of here. Uh, you know, so you can either take the 25 million or, you know, we'll, we'll walk. And uh, they are very grateful that the family didn't walk and uh, sold them the business for 25 million. And um, 12 years later, in 1984, C's was earning 13 million. So in 72, when they bought it, it was making 2 million. In 84, 12 years later, it was making 13 million. Uh, the book value had gone from 8 million to 20 million. And uh, the unit volume over that 12 year period had only gone up by about 2% a year on average. So if you look at the C's candy purchase uh, from 1972 and take it all the way till today, the unit volume growth of C's has been about approximately 2%. The you know, number of pounds of candy they sell every year has gone up about 2% a year over the last, let's say, 45 years or 44 years or so. Um, but their earnings have gone up significantly more than that. Uh, it's a private company. They don't disclose the numbers. I would, I would guess that C's is probably approaching 100 million maybe somewhere in the 70 to 100 million, maybe more than that, in terms of earnings per year uh, at this point. And California GDP from 72 till now has grown up as probably 5 or 6% a year. So C's did not keep up with California GDP growth over that period from a volume growth perspective. And in fact, even the 2% volume growth that has come in has come in with square footage increase. So their retail space went up by approximately that number, uh, which led to that, that growth. And, and Warren and Charlie say that uh, the river of cash that came out of seas funded a zillion, zillion other things at Berkshire. So they would, they would, if you ask them today, you know, what is the value of seas to Berkshire? They, they probably couldn't even tell you, but it would be in the tens of billions. It would be very significant in terms of what it did. And, and if you were to ask them today that, uh, you know, so Charlie says that we were barely smart enough in 1972 to buy C's, barely smart enough, because he says that, you know, if the family didn't budge to our stupid demand of 25 million, we would have walked. And, and actually, if you go backwards and think about it, they could have paid 100 million for that business and it would have been a low price based on what happened after that, right? So, so, uh, so it was a phenomenal business. Um, and the only thing Warren did, uh, the only input he provided to management, uh, they kept the same management, Chuck Huggins kept running the company. The only thing he did was he said that on January 1st of every year, I will send you the new price list. So he took over pricing for the company. So you know all their pre peanut bread are brittle and all their fudge pricing and everything else. Uh, beginning of the year, Warren would look at you know okay you know inflation is three percent. Let's bump all the prices by twelve percent. And and year after year, they uh, what he found is that 
they could raise prices significantly above the rate of inflation and it didn't have any negative impact on sales. Sales just kept going and uh, but they also found out a few other things. They got a huge education in brands and branding and that education in brands and branding was very fundamental uh, to the Coke purchase. Uh, so C's is a California phenomena. You know, people in California, if I, if I had the same talk going on at Columbia University or something and I asked the same question, they'd look at me like I was from Mars. Probably never heard of C's except for the few that have gone to Omaha. Um, so they repeatedly tried and uh, Warren and Charlie occasionally would try to uh, nudge management to expand C's into other geographies. And every time they tried to expand other geographies, they would fall flat on their face. So they'd open a store. I think one time they had a store in Chicago, never worked. They've opened stores in several geographies, it's never worked. And but slow expansion in California has worked. And so so they found that the brand uh, had had certain brand value in California. They they also found that people were willing to pay a premium for seized candies. In California, but that same cachet didn't follow through in in other locations. 